On February 12th, Ukrainian Orthodox Archbishop Clement of Simferopol and the Crimea held a press conference in Kyiv, during which he outlined what is widely considered to be the most recent wave of persecution directed against the Ukrainian Orthodox Church on the territory of the Russian-occupied Crimea. Archbishop Clement reported that on February 8th, he received an official letter from the so-called Ministry of Property and Land Relations of the Crimea, ordering his parish to vacate the Cathedral of Saints Volodymyr and Olha in the occupied Simferopol within 30 days. The official reason given for the termination of the lease agreement for the cathedral was the refusal of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine to re-register under Russian legislation. Such re-registration would legally require the Church to recognize the Crimea as part of Russia. Archbishop Clement sees this as a purely political act done in response to the process of the revival of an independent Orthodox Church in Ukraine. Я вважаю, що це є політичний крок з боку вже той влади, яка зараз діє на території Криму, зв'язки з зв'язку з останніми подіями, які зараз відбуваються на території України, на материковій Україні. Це формування православної церкви України і відповідно відповідно процеси, які точаться на вколо Українська православна церква Московського патріархату, яка згідно Росії, згідно закону України, повинна перереєструватися як Російська православна церква. Я вважаю, що це є політичне помство для знищення нашої церкви, української церкви на території Криму. Archbishop Clement predicts that the remaining eight parishes of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine, which are located in rural areas of the Crimea, will also very soon be forced to close. During Clement's press conference in Kyiv, he called on the international community to stand in defense of his persecuted church. He suggested that if pressure on Ukrainian churches in the Crimea intensifies, it would be important to introduce personal sanctions against the individuals involved in terminating the church's lease agreement. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News. Canal Oden Plus Oden, the part of the Stockholm Nobel International Program.